Jared Poland fro knows photo dot com you may be asking yourself why are you seeing this picture of Perry Farrell again on the screen well this time we can now put up the never before seen behind the scenes video of how this photo was made and I have the person who shot the video on the Skype line Ari Halpgram what's up Froniverse Froniverse what's up uh, Froniverse I like that the Froniverse really cool so Ari we're about to run this clip for the first time that nobody has ever seen before, other than, I think, just you and I. Yeah, pretty much. I don't think anyone else has seen this. I don't think anybody else has seen it. Um, so you see the photo there, and now we're going to run the clip of uh, what happened, basically that Ari videoed while I was taking this photo. It's only 44 seconds long, but yeah. that, should, that should tell you something, right? Yeah. All right, so here we go. Let that thing roll. Okay, ready? Just tell me if the coast is clear. Okay, let's go. Alright, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it that that uh almost hairless guy that was in denim yeah i can say denim right that was me and uh i didn't have hair that much hair yet right ari yeah this was pre-fro it was pre-fro and that was the beginning. I have not cut my hair since then, by the way. That was when the hair started to grow. Yeah, although everyone should know that at one point during that tour, you experimented by shaving only half of your beard, <laughs> the chin down. So you had a full beard, but nothing from your chin down, and it was quite a sight to behold. Yeah, let me find. I'm going to see if I find that photo, if I still have that, and uh, I'll throw that up. I got bored one day in L.A. when I was. It was just. Ari wasn't there yet, and I was just literally at the Hyatt for four days by myself. I had nothing to do because what are you going to do on, sen on the Sunset Strip at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon and nobody's around, just me, and I knew nobody. So I decided just to shave the width of the razor down my chin, and it looked pretty cool. It was spectacular. It was spectacular. Uh, anyway, so Ed, as you saw... This was a 44-second clip. Perry literally stood there for 12 seconds, maybe even less than that. Took three pictures, captured the moment, and then it was over. So that's photos really capture th things. Is that why they say photos are worth something? A picture's worth a thousand words? Yeah, that one. A picture's worth a thousand words. Yeah. And... It's worth a lot more than that, honestly. I, I could come up with a thousand more words than that. But it just shows you that you know, video captures things how they were, in this case, how they were. Uh, well, whoa, was that English? Yeah. Okay, yeah, how they were. And then the photo is timeless because it captured, it froze that moment in time. And it's just one of those things that happened so quick, but when you can snap that shot, capture that moment, and it's locked in, you can look back, and it just turns into one of those classic shots. Yeah, and I'll also say that, um, you know, in, in our entire working history together, we've seen some pretty cool things, and we have been at the same place or at least near one another when capturing both on video and in photographs a moment. And it's always kind of unique to see what your product looks like versus what my product looks like. But I have to say, I think that this still goes down as one of the funniest moments in our entire professional career together because, and everyone has now seen it, Perry literally assumed that position and froze. I mean, it was mind-boggling. It was hard to even keep myself from laughing while I was shooting that because it was just such a unique thing to see him literally freeze in place. It's so stark in the photograph, but you don't really know until you watch the video just how funny it was to watch him freeze like that. Yeah, he, he knew exactly what he was going to do before he went out there. And um, 
I didn't have any preconceived settings in the camera, I don't think. I think I uh, guesstimated what it should be, shot it, didn't even look, and sent him on his way. And, um, I don't know, that's just cool when you can just react, when you react to the things and you just get it. And that was, and the, the coolest thing about what happened there is Perry's white, he's wearing black underpants, the mannequins are black, wearing white underpants, and yeah. it just, the, I can say juxtaposition, right? Absolutely. Yeah, it was very juxtaposed. Yes. And uh, I also want to point out to uh, fans of the Fro that the other guy in the frame with us with the ponytail is Nick Perry, who you also recently shot for his new band and we knew from back in the Silvertide days. Sinai. Sinai. Sinaiband.com for all of those of you who want to check them out. There's uh, other videos up here about them. Um, but yeah, I think... Uh, that pretty much wraps up that whole behind the scenes look. This this behind the scenes talk lasted much longer than that whole sequence took. That's usually the way it works with music. You gotta love it though. Oh yeah. Any uh, final words, Ari? I love the fro. You do. Yeah. When are you growing your fro? You could do it. Yeah, maybe we'll I, see. Just do it. <laughs> You'll save a lot of money on haircuts. The That's flow. You give the flow be a rest, Ari. Okay, thanks, Jared. I do, all right. Sorry, I let the let the uh, cat out of the bag. But Ari owns a flow Do I? I don't know. We need to find a flow because I will totally try the flow one day. <laughs> you, you remember that video? I know this is digressing, but you hook it up to the to the uh, to like a big freaking hose, a, a shop vac, a vac. And, it, and it like sucks the hair through. And I'm assuming that it. It uses suction to spin those freaking blades, and it just, like, shears your hair off. Oh, the Floby. Well, in the words of Wayne's World, it both sucks and cuts. Sucks and cuts. I think we should end on that note. Okay. Jared Poland, froknosephoto.com. See ya.